you're looking for a good Sunday brunch this morning, there's a resource here in Austin that can help. Kay Marley Dilworth is a food blogger who recently launched a website called atxfoodnews.com. Thank you for being with us today. You also have a Twitter account as well uh, yes. where you do food reviews. So this is something you picked up a few years ago. How did it all get going? Well, I've been blogging for quite some time. You know, you start out just blogging for friends or family sure. or whatever reason. And my friends always called me for, uh, you know, any ideas of where to go eat for food. You know, just if I'm taking grandma out for lunch kind mm -hmm, of thing. And mm -hmm. so I, I have had passion for local food. I have a passion for local business and it just kind of all fell together. And then with Twitter, uh, my Twitter feed started in 2009 and I've used that extensively just to get the word out about Austin's great food. Which the Twitter handle is the same, ATX mm -hmm. Food News yes. is your Twitter, Twitter handle and the uh, website. So do you take um, questions? Do, what are some of the hot spots around town? Sure. Well, I do take a lot of questions. I, I get random questions weekly, sometimes daily, about where to eat. Uh, like uh, a couple weeks ago, it was where the best kolaches that uh -huh. are, uh, you know, someone was missing Check Stop, which was their hometown. Oh, uh, yeah. And, um, you know, but hot spots around Austin, man, you know, we've had so many new restaurants opening up mm -hmm. uh, in various forms, you know, trailers or brick and mortar, and there's some great ones out there. And two of the, of the ones that are really being talked about mm -hmm. in the last couple of weeks are Olive and June, which is uh, Sean Sirkill of Parkside and Beck's Bend fame. Um, that chef can do no wrong, uh, mm -hmm. it seems. And uh, also Lenoir on South First, uh, Todd Duplachain is the chef there. He was recently of um, Trio at Four Seasons fame. So so those are the, the two biggest hot spots that are going to be the up and coming reservations suggested because it'll be a, probably a, a little wait to get into. Now do you consider yourself a, a food critic or is this just kind of a referral where you know you just kind of... Oh gosh, you know that's... If, Bloggers and food food bloggers, we always try to avoid labels, but um, definitely, you know, I think everyone's a food critic because mm -hmm. if you go out to eat somewhere and you pay, you know, $35 for one, you know, meal just for yourself, sure. and you think, oh, I could have done better at home. Yeah, you're being a food critic. Sure. But um, I do, I do some food reviewing. I do a lot of, um, I do a lot of suggestions. Is right. what I like to think of it as. Right. You know, I like to point out where you can get local craft beer. I like mm -hmm. to point out the little, you know, out of the way dive spots that have been around forever. So a little bit of critiquing, you know, reviewing, a whole lot of just loving Austin and its food and beverage industry. And so <clears throat> I'm sure this obviously keeps you busy because you're running around town. I don't know what just <laughs> happened there, but uh, you're running around town. And uh, how do you um, do you just kind of monitor what's getting buzz? Yeah, well, you know, Twitter makes it really easy just to see what everything is in the moment. Um, and a lot of it is too, we have a, a huge connection of food bloggers in Austin and the Austin Food Blogger Alliance has, you know, incredible bloggers that are hooked in with that. And so, you know, there's this network in Austin of great resources. Uh, I like to think I'm one of them, but I'm by no means, you know, the best or the only. Mm -hmm. But, you know, you can go to, you know, even our local newspaper, you know, Relish Austin has incredible tips. But uh, I have to say that Twitter is a, such a useful tool for restaurants because they're all they're constantly out there saying hey come by for happy hour we've got you know uh, 50 cent margaritas from 11 to 5 right or little tips like that and sure. then also because people are talking about it it's your it's people from all walks of life on Twitter and could be a college student could be uh, you know a professional of some you know higher level and they're just they're talking about what they're eating and what they're drinking so many times we get stuck in that rut of going to the same places yes. over and over again this is a great resource uh, you can check Kay out at, on your Twitter handle yes. at ATX Food News or on your website now at atxfoodnews.com yes. thank you so much for being with us this thanks morning. for having me all right David is back now with